What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. I'm your host T. Welcome to the Adventures of TNT. Now today we're doing another Patreon request. This is coming from our patron Jacob, in which he has requested Big Log uh, by Robert Plant. Now, I didn't even know Robert Plant had did a solo career or had solo albums outside of anything he d did for Led Zeppelin. And so I think we were doing a uh, one of our jam sessions where I just randomly play music that you guys request on a live stream. And uh, Jacob had requested something from Robert Plant, which sounded very interesting. So I'm very curious about this song because this is actually going to be the first time that I'm seriously getting a chance to listen to music from his solo work. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Once again, this is Big Log by Robert Plant. Let's go. Hopefully it doesn't get banned. Hopefully it's not like... The, uh, Led Zeppelin's music where they just ban everything, but we'll see.
All right, so this is very interesting. This is very interesting because of a couple of things. Hush, dog. So I wasn't expecting this, not from Robert Plant, mainly because I've been listening to so much Led Zeppelin. Um, my expectations going into this was something that was going to be just a little bit more rhythmic and a little bit more fun. And because this is my first time listening to something from Robert Plant's solo music, you know, I just had to know when this when this song was released, because there were certain things like the the little drumming snare um, and, and certain elements like the synth and everything that was very distinctive to the 80s. And so I had went ahead and, and did a Google search really quick and I seen that this did come out in the 80s. And, um, you know, that kind of made things a little bit more clear for me. Um, I, you know, I know that during this time was a very experimental time for music because a lot of um, there were just a lot of different elements that were being that was being incorporated into music during this time. Uh, I believe a lot of bands started using co computerized and computer generated instruments. And that's what you can hear is very prevalent in this song, because I'm sitting here thinking to myself like, yo, you know, he, he, like, well, by this time, I think John Bonham had already passed away. But I was like, yo, John Bonham would kill it on these drums or, you know, give it a Jimmy Page guitar solo or something. But this was this was completely different. This was I like this wasn't rock. Um, it was borderline pop. And it just had a different feel to it. Like I said, once I actually got into the groove of the song, it felt like I was taking a late night drive uh, through the 80s. That's the kind of mood this song put me in. So, you know, it's very interesting. Uh, I probably, I'm probably down to listen to some more uh, music from Robert Plant's solo album. So guys, if you have any requests, leave them down below in the comment section. I'm still not completely sold. I still kind of feel like you know, he needs Zeppelin because to me, this didn't sound like the Robert Plant that I've been listening to for the past couple of months. This sounded like a completely different artist. So I can imagine when this song came out, a lot of Led Zeppelin's fans had probably felt alienated uh, that there was such a, 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 a change up in style. Uh, I'll say that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm willing to listen to some more. So guys, if you have any requests, leave them down below and uh, let me know what you think about this song. Anyway, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.